Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm sorry I wasn't able to upload a video last week due to the midterms that I'm having. But since midterms are over, I'll be back to my normal schedule. So today's video is all about how I plan my revision and I hope you guys like this video. So the first thing I normally do is I'm gonna brain dump everything, like all the tests and from my study planners like all the stuff i have to finish based on their due dates and this study planner was from emma studies so like i'm just gonna bring them with all of our test schedules and assignments and stuff that i really need to do So now I'm currently done making the list. So over here you can see I have an overview on the test. So this hole from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, those are the tests for Monday next week. This one's for Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. They're not yet final but they may add and another one on Friday. Then I have minimal homework but as you can see here, my to-do list is piling up for my assignments due next week, no, next next week and three weeks later. And other stuff like revising, so I also put it there. And like rewriting my notes because they're kind of messy and I just want to summarize everything. So this is the first page, this is how my brain dump looks like. And also, I <clears throat> sorry, I created a list of what study stuff to pack. Since it's a long weekend, my parents planned a road trip, so we're going somewhere for three days, which is most of the long weekend. So, since I have a lot of tests next week, I plan to study also in the car. Though I don't know how is that possible because I normally end up sleeping but I'm gonna bring all of my study materials that I need and I would be doing them in the hotel yeah or the garden but I just need to like bring this so I can finish my studying if I don't get to finish it before we leave. So next what I'm gonna do is I will be putting like dots or marks for each task including all my tests and homework and the to-do. So this is just to indicate the urgency. So three means really 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 important must get it done first. There's a second which is really important and a third one is not that important. How it looks like there will be three dots like I said it's really really important two dots is a little important and one dot means it can wait so for today or for this long weekend there's only just one that's not that important but the rest I have mostly three dots which means I really have to get these things done so the next thing I do is of course planning which task I'm gonna accomplish for the day so I don't like to make to-do list like one week advance because things can turn up in one week and sometimes I overestimate so I would really put so much to-do list and so I normally plan what I'm gonna do the night before or early in the morning and I put it in this daily study planner by Emma studies so I would put of course the top three I want to get done and I would be putting the others in here and what I normally tell myself is to just choose what you want to do 
And it doesn't matter if it's important or not, but as long as I get things accomplished, it's already okay. So this is how it looks like for one day, um, the top three, and I reiterated my top three, and this. So why it looks a lot? Well, some of them are just small to-dos like sending something to a friend for the homework and printing stuff because I normally forget them, and I just want to finish. like doing all the writing stuff because I'm going like tomorrow I'm going on a road trip so I won't be able to have time to write or revise so what I want to do during that road trip is to like read my notes and review it that is why I didn't include any review 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 because I would be doing all of those in the car and during the time in the hot tub and you guys might be wondering how come I didn't put like any time I want to start this or any time I should be doing this it's because I've been experimenting on using like times like I would make in an, in an excel document the task and the time I should start but let's just say I never follow the time because normally I pressure myself too much to start on the time so what I do now is just make a list of tasks and I don't put the time and it's just like you should just finish this the whole day so the deadline of all of these tasks is like the end of the day and as long as you get all of these done no matter how much time I rest or no matter how much time I go out or spend time with my family I just have to like finish this and that's it.